I made a lot of videos about Windows 11, but I don't like it. And still, my daily OS is Windows 10. I want to say at the beginning of the video that I often make videos about Windows 11 because this is the next Windows OS that will receive updates in the future. And unfortunately, Windows 10 most likely won't. So why I don't like Windows 10? In my opinion, it's quite complicated operating system. I understand that many new AI features are being added, but I prefer the simplicity of Windows 10. I don't like when changing Windows version gives the impression that I'm switching to a completely different operating system. For me, it seems strange. I also don't like that we are actually not given the choice to stay on Windows 10. Although it is an excellent OS on which many laptops and computers, modern computers, works without any issues or problems. High system requirements. You have probably already have heard about it many times, and I will remind you just one more time. You need to have a newer CPU, there should also be TPM 2.0 support. And this is not even the end, because I think in few months new system requirements will appear and so that many users will be forced to buy a new laptop or PC. Interface. There is nothing to discuss. In Windows 10, it is simply better. Optimization. Although I think it's not the worst, but why did I repeatedly have problems, issues, logs when I update to Windows 11 from Windows 10 on laptops with 8 and 9 generation CPUs? I mean Intel CPUs, which by the way officially supports Windows 11. I don't know, maybe the problem was in laptops, but maybe in Windows 11. Multiple ads, many ads, let's be honest. Windows 11 have a lot of them. I understand that everyone earns money in different ways. But just for a second, Windows is not a free operating system. For example, like Linux. You need to purchase a license to use Windows. But still, we see multiple ads, which is quite annoying. Data collection. Microsoft collects a lot of personal information for its purposes perhaps to improve Windows 11, but the fact remains that they need our data. Like it or not, if you want to use Windows, you need to be ready for this. And every time they come up with different tricks, like the need to sign into Microsoft account. By the way, you can use a local account instead. My conclusions. Windows 11 isn't perfect. Let's be honest. But I wish it would be much better before I will switch to it. I hope that in the future it will be no worse than Windows 10. But still, today, I will use Windows 10 instead of Windows 11. That's my decision. If this video was helpful, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to stop Windows 11 updates.